Hi, I'm Itali and we'll see in the moment. I'm glad you're in this moment with me. We're looking at the Twin Flame Collective Energy for the week of June 26th to the 30th. Yeah, so basically the end of June. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do weekly Twin Flame Energy readings. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for all your love and support. It means so much to me, uh, more than you ever know. Uh, and with that, let's get started. What is going on with the Twin Flame from the end of June, beginning of July? Crazy, crazy energy. Every day. Let's see. Face down, Ace of Swords in reverse. All right. So. We have some truth coming out. And I feel like this isn't like truth that you're presenting to other people. This is truth that you are presenting to yourself. This is self-revelations. Finding out things that you've been meaning to figure out. People you've been wondering about. Job situations, opportunities that you've been wondering about it's good for me or not definitely self revelations it's like um because we're coming to like this like um high point in um the energies right now it's kind of like um whether you want it or not uh the universe your higher self your angels God, whatever you believe in, is ready to present you with experiences. It could be like two to three days, um, two to three hours with information or people or just the right thing at the right time that makes you realize what you need to know at this time for your highest and best good. In my last reading, I said it's like do or die time basically what it is it's it's, it's <laughs> this is information you didn't see coming it slaps you across the face and it wakes you up <laughs> the full card the new start and because this is the first card of the major arcana this is literally starting a new cycle a new way of life, a new part of your life, a new perspective on life, a new way of living life, a new you, a new you. And whatever just slapped you across your face, this truth, this reality, this, um, this last thing that you needed to put together the puzzle pieces of your life, it's here. You get it. You done it. Here's a new you. All right. So what does the Divine Masculine think about their Divine Feminine? <laughs> wow. The Star card. Ever so gently brushing up against the Divine Feminine. The stars aligning. Destiny unfolding. Hopes and wishes coming through. The Divine Masculines are in a dreamlike state when they think of their Divine Feminine. How could a person like this ever have come into my life? They made my world go upside down and I didn't like them at first for it. Was weirded out by it. Maybe had a lot of conflict, inner conflict for it. But now, I'm just wondering, how did this person ever come to my life? This, this dream-like person, this angel from heaven. How did they ever just waltz into my life and change everything? The truth. This is the truth. The divine masculine, and especially if you've been on this journey for a while and you understand that you had to give your masculine space, 
um, release them, release any expectation. If you love something, you let it go. You focus on yourself, self-love. All the energy you're giving to someone else, they feel that energy and they can take it and, you know, use it with someone else. No, uh, you gave that energy back to you and you release them. And now the Divine Masculine is thinking, wow, everything the Divine Feminine said to me was 100% true. No denying. It's like they were tailor made for me. It's like the experience we went through from childhood, young adulthood, after that adulthood, even with our gray hair, we were meant to be on the path that we're on now. We were meant to go through the experiences we went to, through together. Together. It's a, it's a, it's kind of like that um, aha moment for the Divine Masculine. And we've been getting this energy for the last few months. So I do see uh, the Divine Masculine um, being more and more aware, okay, understanding and loving towards the feminine, towards the connection towards the feminine. Every time they awaken or every time they learn something new about life, about some sort of philosophical idea, about some sort of new age or spiritual or metaphysical, esoteric, or cult, whatever knowledge you're into, every time they discover something new about life, they get a new... Uh, like re-energized understanding of the connection with the divine feminine how the divine feminine feels about their masculine ten of wands so I feel like a lot of divine feminines have released their masculines at least the burdens associated with the ma divine masculines um, you know I have a life to live Life is amazing. Um, even for me personally right now, like I'm um, in the middle of a beautiful area in the mountains. Um, I'm just chilling out and like nature is constantly having like a photo shoot behind me. And I'm like, I get it, nature. You know, you're, you're actually really beautiful. You know, just keep doing you. But like, it's like, I'm not going to miss out on life. I'm not going to give up and pass through, pass up the opportunities that universe that the universe has for you in this moment because you're so stuck on the opportunity that you don't have with your divine masculine, at least as it appears to you. Look at the opportunity that the universe is giving to you right now, even if it's not with your divine masculine at this very singular moment. The, the universe is giving you something beautiful. And do you really want to pass that up for spending another cycle waiting for your masculine? I guarantee you this opportunity, experience, or whatever the universe is presenting to you now, whether it's your twin flame or not, it's beautiful. It's something you don't want to miss out on. And trust me, it's going to be amazing. There you go. 10 and 10. 10 is the number of completion, finality, renewal. The wands and the swords are both very active elements. Divine feminines are actively, with their heart in charge, living their highest and best life. With no regrets, Divine Feminines. If the opportunity that the universe presents you with isn't the twin flame physical connection or union at this time, 
then why not go with the experience, opportunity, amazing um, situation that the universe is presenting to you now? Because believe me, if you know this is your twin flame, and there's a lot of twin flames coming into union very soon, but there's a lot of twin flames that are coming into union next year. So whether you're on the track for this year or next year, why not go with the highest and best opportunity, experience, and situation that the universe is presenting to you now? You won't regret it. I even personally went through a soulmate karmic relationship before even acknowledging my twin flame. It was the best thing that happened to me. I looked at it and thought, I thought I was ready to be in a twin flame relationship. Until I had this karmic soulmate relationship. It taught me so many intimate things about myself and romantic relationships. And believe me, I have, I have experience in um, <clears throat> romantic love relationships and partnerships. That was so deep rooted that I'm, I'm now thinking, I'm like, Wow. If I didn't have that experience, I would be nowhere near having that perfect, awesome, next level, higher caliber, twin flame relationship. The relationship that's going to show other people what 5D high vibrational relationships look like. So what it is, what the masculine is thinking about the feminine in terms of uh, mental energy. Okay. Wow. Queen of Swords. So Divine Masculines are very... <laughs> like I said here, um, the Divine Masculines are reminiscing about something the Divine Feminine said or an idea that the Divine Feminine implanted in the Divine Masculine's head that they were so right about. <laughs> so don't... I wouldn't say, like, go say, like, I told you so, Divine Feminist, but the Divine Masters are definitely thinking she has or he has the right to be like, I told you so, because what they said about me or what they said about life or the idea that they had about me or my life or romantic relationships about what family means and what family should be, what life should be about and um, how life should be lived that was um no joke that was no joke that that was definitely something that changed by destiny it changed my outlook on life um i have to give credit to the divine feminine right now like that's and that has been on their mind like um more and more so throughout this year like maybe once in january twice in february and it's like okay like um you know like they have a revelation in January, like, wow, the Divine Feminine was so right about how life should be. And like, oh, there's nothing that can change my perspective on life more than that. And then February comes around and they have like two or three more like enlightening moments. They're like, wow, what the Divine Feminine says, it's like so resonating with me. And it's like, there's nothing that can change my life more than just that, what happened recently and it has to do with my Divine Feminine. And then March and April come around, May and June, it's just like four or five or six or eight things that the Divine Feminine says that resonate with them, things that like other people that are of high vibration around them have told them that resonate with them. It's just like mind blowing to them. It's like, wow, I did not expect things to just accelerate as much as they have, like I thought that the that revelation I had in December, January was amazing. But like February, March happened, April, May, June, and now July is just going to keep speeding up for them, especially in this like June, July um, time frame. So they, they thought they like, you know, understood it all. And then they didn't expect for them to be resonating with the Divine Feminine as much as they are now and it's just more and more 
as the days go by, literally, as the days and hours go by, they're resonating more and more with their twin flame. They're not waiting around anymore. They planted their seeds back in the day, January, February, March, April. They're not waiting for those plants to grow because it already has. Whatever the Divine Feminine have has implanted in the masculine's mind is already starting to grow. They're already living that life. They're already deciding, how can I make this happen? How much do I need to save up? Where do we need to live? What kind of people do I need to have around me? Um, how does this how is this future possible for the two of us? They've already planted the seeds and it already started to grow. We're in the beginning of summer now. This is the time we harvest our crops. We enjoy the fruits of our labor. The masculines are now enjoying the seeds they planted because of the Divine Feminine. Okay, um, the Divine Feminine, what they're thinking of what, with their Divine Masculines. Wow, the hanging man in reverse. They are, I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines have this kind of like knowing, a sense that like the Divine Masculines must be on the same track. And I feel like this is because the Divine Feminine has had a lot of weird kind of stuff happen in their life. A lot of people from the past, closures, new starts. It's just like, yeah, 100%. My Divine Masculine is on the same track as me. Like, if I didn't believe in spiritual and, like, higher power and, like, things, destiny and things happening for a reason... I have undeniable evidence, proof, can't go against the evidence I've I've had in my life. Even in just the last, like, I'm getting two or three months. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that this is what's going on with the masculine. Whether you're in communication or not, separation or not, this, this wave definitely has just a knowing and even if you haven't talked to your masculines for years months whatever you don't care you know that you're on the highest and best spiritual path and that therefore your masculine must be too even if you had questions about who your masculine is even if you have questions about whether you will be together in this lifetime it's 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 not significant anymore. Your ego is so passive, so at bay. It's just... You trust the universe that much, Divine Feminine. That it's just like... Your heart and mind is so in sync that it's just like... <laughs> it's like... Whoever is meant to come into your life as a romantic life partner kind of person, whether, okay, so I'm getting two things. So like for some people, it's going to be their twin flame. For some people, it's going to be like a karmic soulmate, but it's someone that's necessary in order to have that twin flame relationship later on in life. This, or this, it, it can be like, you know, for a handful of like, I'm getting, um, you know, like a dozen of you, um, a business part, business partnership, a good friend, um, a sibling, someone who comes into your life full force, ready to take the next step in life with you. And with the six of wands and the ten of wands again, the ten of wands again, um, you are heading towards a very bright, successful, publicly acknowledged um, achievement in whatever you are doing. 
if it's in love, it's in love. It's if, if it's in career, it's in career. If it's in your job, your family, your hobby, whatever, or more than one of these things, divine feminines, you got it going on. Physical action of the divine masculine towards the divine feminine in this last week of June. Oh, wow. The five of wands and it fell on the divine feminine's heart space and the union space. There's a little bit of inner conflict going on with the divine masculine. They're struggling. It's, this is like what happens, right? Like right before your whole life is going to change, it feels like any other day, right? But at the same time, you have that little bit of like a sense or um, a knowing that like your life is going to change. And you might be fighting it. The divine masculine might be fighting it. It's like, oh, this is different from my day-to-day -day routine. This might be different from what I usually do or the person I usually go after. It's like your ego kicks up a little bit before you go after something that's really good for you, a major change, because... Um, your ego challenges you. It's like, is this going to be the highest and best good for me? Maybe not. Let's insert some fear. So it's like the divine masculines are inserted, not a massive amount, but a little bit of fear because they're going after what is right for them and their ego is going to challenge them a little bit. Hmm. All right. We have the eight cups, exactly what I said. Before, and because it fell off the table, that means that this is an option, a last minute decision, something that don't, they don't even see coming, but it's kind of like it, this opportunity presents itself within the next week, and it's like a last minute decision, or it's like, all right, this is something I have to do. Um, and it comes very suddenly, and like they're not, they don't, like they have no clue this is coming out of left field and um, they leave their past behind. They leave their past behind and I'm getting like very strongly, this is like taking a risk. This is like moving to another state, like, you know, leaving their job in order to get another job that they can um, work in another area. Um, leaving their friends and family behind um, taking a risk in terms of relationships, even though they still have a, some a little bit of baggage from their past relationships, even if they're not completely ready and completely feel okay with what they're doing, they're ready to take the risk. But this is the this is the moment where they um, where a little bit of fear kicks in, a little bit of ego kicks in because it's like that's what happens when you're about to do something big and your life is about to change. You have a moment like this. And although these are both minor arcana cards, um, I'm getting, it's like the prep, preparation for getting the emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical bodies ready to take some sort of risk here with the Twin Flame journey. Okay, the feminine's physical action towards the masculine. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first of all, what we had show up face up is the six of swords and the nine of swords. There's a lot of three, six, nine energies around this time, you know. Um, I love, you know, number, like, uh, the three numbers of threes, multiples of threes. Um, I personally am born in a nine month, nine year, nine day. Um, and so I love three, six, nine energies. Six of swords, nine of swords. With, you're not gonna believe this, 10 of cups. So I feel like the divine feminines are also in their own way taking a, some sort of risk. This might be, this might be a solo trip to find that 
fantasy in life. You know how uh, a lot of people are saying like, oh, like uh, everything is like so, like if someone's too like happy-go-lucky or someone's too positive, like don't listen to them. F that. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to be in a good state in life? Why wouldn't you want to be in a high vibrational positive mindset, mostly happy? But what I'm really aiming for is contentment, right? So why wouldn't you want a happy, fantastical life? People take this card and, and if they describe it as fantasy, then teach them a lesson and let them know that you are a way shore. You are a light worker. You are a twin flame and you're here to show people what is possible in life. What we're aiming for. We've already shined the light on the dark. We already understand how the dark works. We've already done our shadow work. We've already done, worked with our ego. We already have our mind and heart in, in sync. We've been in the darkest depth of life because most light workers, most twin flames have been through the darkest deepest depths of life that most people won't understand and very early on in life and throughout their lives to be honest because you want to be able to connect with people and as many people as possible but mostly those in very very dark deep states so for all those people that say that's just a fantasy that's just a dream that's just uh wishing for things to be better than they are teach them a lesson or two because you know what it's like to be so stressed out have so much anxiety being kept up at night thinking what's happening to your twin that you should go somewhere divine feminine you should follow your heart you should feel out what's right for you and literally physically travel there because this is what we're about the divine feminine and the twin flame journey especially those that have been doing their spiritual work this is us and we're not thinking of uh just fulfillment we're not idealistic we're not inspirational we're not just trying to complete something we are renewing people's faith in the fact that what we're being idealistic about feel like how we're inspirational to others that they can fulfill their dreams and wishes so shut them down and go forward with your strength your ability your confidence and your knowing because I, I i talk to so many people um a lot of them clients a lot of them in the comment a lot of you guys in the comment section that like i am blown away by your accomplishments in life and whether they are um uh in the this the societal structure that we have now in degrees and statuses or in just like the family struggles and the, the business struggles and the career struggles like i every person that i talk to i'm just like blown away about how unique and how transformative and how amazing it is that you went through the journey that you did i sometimes cannot believe that you guys went through what you did so hard such a tough 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 trip and it's just like that's why we're here for each other that's why we're creating this community this is why we're showing others the way because Gonna get all emotional now, but like, yeah, like, I've never seen as much strength, confidence, and love, and strong sense of spirituality that I have in this than in this community. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow! So like, it was it was just a seven of cups and the ace of cups. I'm like, yeah, 
we're, this is what we're about. We're making our dreams come true. And then guess what was right behind the Seven of Cups? The 11-11 Twin Flame card. <laughs> I mean, I don't even think I have to explain that. I think anyone and everyone that has made it through to this reading up to this point and can intuitively and probably has a very high intuition and knows what this means especially for them and especially for your peers and all of us on this wave wow all right um uh, turn this light down a little bit it's a little all right uh what's coming up in the first week of july beginning of july I have to say, I love you. I'm so proud to be a part of your life. And please, please, please hit me up if you are planning to do anything in in the line of um, spiritual public work because I'm so there. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, from 10 to 1, Let's go, baby. I believe in you. I love you. I want the best for all of us. And it's coming to those of us that are doing the inner work, have been doing the inner work, and feeling those energies and are ready. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm like speechless. <laughs> You are not going to believe this. Yes. The most positive high vibrational card in the deck. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. If you understand tarot cards, I, I'm so blown away. I'm like literally speechless right now. Family. Get ready for your highest and best life. I wish you so much positive love and life. I want each and every one of you ha to have the highest and best life. And for us all to mutually have the highest and best life. For humanity, for Mother Gaia, for all in the name of light. Much love and light. Hope you stay with me. We'll see you in the moment. Peace and love.